Hi, this is David with the Discount Dragon, and today we are showing you how we uh, use our production molds for the troll skull here and for the sewer goblins. Now, these are not professional molds, we made them ourselves, and they're a little bit slapdash, but they do get the job done. So they're being held by, together by rubber bands of various sizes. And if you're doing art or making molds such as this, one thing I do recommend keeping an eye out for is things like this at the dollar store. This is a bag of just a zillion different sizes of rubber bands, very handy for holding molds together. And it's something you may not find very easily just uh, at a regular store because they have some really oddball sizes. So this one is the mold for the troll skull. And we filled this with Durham's rock hard putty, which is what we make these guys out of. And the mold itself, this part here, is also Durham's rock hard putty. It's a it's a nice material. And then the interior is silicone pieces, which is specifically amazing mold putty. So take this piece out first. This, which is the bottom of the teeth. And you can look there, how those are kind of formed. And start taking this apart. Pull off the hard shell to the back of the head. Okay, stick that over there. And we'll pull off the hard shell to the front. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pull off the soft part for the back first. silicone part on the back is coming off. See the back of the skull there. And then let's get the front off. And each mold is a little bit different depending on how you put it together. I mean, if you're doing a really super professional job, uh, you don't have to worry about any kind of eccentricities with the mold, but that's not what I'm doing, and it's probably <laughs> not what you're going to be doing either. Okay, so you pull this off. And depending on the delicacy of the piece, you want to be careful about pulling this off as well. Sometimes you'll get thin spots on the casting if you're making it hollow like this is, so you want to be... Just kind of gentle with it. So there you see, it's the interior interior of it. It's got a tear there, but you can fix that up with just more mold putty. And then we have our finished piece. As you can see, uh, you get this flashing here, which just comes right off. And then we'll fix the flashing up more and get it blended together with an X-Acto knife in the next step. But there we have our troll skull, made out of Durham's Rock Hard Putty. Now, let's move this over, move this back a bit, and we'll stick the troll skull there, just for comparison. And then we'll move on to the Goblin Skull. Now this one is not a hollow casting. Uh, this one we pour solid out of a cement-based plaster. This is the sprue or plug from the top. It just snaps right off. Uh, this one is a little tight, so let me take a little wiggling to get it out of here. And this one, the ears never come out properly, so we have to go back in and fix those later on. But I'm used to that. <laughs> there are probably, I mean, there are ways to get 
them to come out without having to go in and fix the ears. But it's going to take a new mold and I just haven't got around to it. So this is one of the hard shell pieces on this mold. Some of it leaped a little so it kind of bonded to itself. Put that hard shell piece there. And then this other piece is one big chunk, which is one of the things that makes it a little hard to weasel out of there. But we'll do it. We always do. And there we go. And here's the inner shell of the mold, the two silicone pieces. And pull this off. Oh. Off. There's the back piece, and here is the front piece, and let's see how it came out. You know, pretty good, not many air bubbles. Uh, ends of the ears didn't come out there, but this one, we almost got yeah, an entire ear, which is pretty one. good. So this will take a little finishing work, and there's a point where we pour it in the back. But other than that, I mean, a very nice casting, and there's the casting versus the finished product. And there we have it. A uh, demonstration of the troll skull mold and the goblin skull, the sewer goblin molds. And if you're interested, you can come back when we have the next segment available. We will be deburring these and then we'll be probably doing another segment on painting them. Thanks for watching and see you later.